today we're going to make this farm landscape and we're going to decorate it using the lines that we've learned all year long. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to draw this. You do not have to draw it exactly like mine. You can make yours a little bit different. Um, this one I have the barn on the left and the sun on the right and some trees. Uh, this one I have the barn on the right and the sun on the left and a fence behind it. So you don't have to do yours exactly like mine. You can do yours differently. Um, but we are going to start off with a blank piece of paper and we're going to be using our India ink markers today and we've talked about these. We know that these markers do not come out if, they, if it gets on you. So please be careful. Be really gentle with it. Do not get it on your clothes. If you get it on your hands, just leave it. Don't wipe it on your clothes because um, it will wash off your hands, but it won't wash off your clothes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take the lid off and put the lid on the other side and we're going to start by drawing our heels first. So we're going to draw two heels. It's a big rainbow shape and a big rainbow shape. So here we go. We're going to start on the left side of our paper and we're going to draw over and down until we get to about here. Yours doesn't have to look like this. You can make yours different. Then we're gonna go back up here and draw our other heel. Maybe you have a really big heel or maybe yours is a little bit smaller. It's up to you. Now we're gonna draw our farm fields. Okay, this is where we're gonna plant all of our line crops. And we're gonna make our lines going down first. And we're gonna follow the line that we just drew. So I'm gonna start and follow this line. So this line, I'm going to make it again, but I'm going to come down a little bit. So I'm going to start here and go all the way down, 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 and stop. I'm going to do the same one right here, but smaller. Down, 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 and stop. Yours doesn't have to look just like this. Now we're going to make these field lines. So I'm going to start here, same line I drew. I'm going to draw up, 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 and over. Up, 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 and over. Up, 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 and over. Yours doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to do our lines going the other way. So we're just going to pick a spot, draw a line down. Pick a spot, draw a line down. You can put yours wherever you want. Just go around and put some lines just like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to put some lines. Some are big, some are small. Just put in some lines. All right, those are fields. And we're going to come back in just a minute and we're going to decorate these fields using the lines that we've learned from Larry the Line. So I'm going to make a barn now and you can put your barn on this side or you can put your barn on this side. It's up to you. I'm going to put mine right here and I'm going to start off by drawing a square. That's my barn. And I'm going to make the barn door by making another square inside of it. And I'm going to put an X inside that door. It makes it look like a barn door. And then I'm going to put a triangle on top to be the roof. And let's put a little door up there. Now we can draw a little silo off to the side if you like. So we're going to draw a tall, skinny rectangle just like that. Right next to our square, let's draw a tall, skinny rectangle with a rainbow shape on top. Now, I'm going to draw a couple of trees now. Um, and I'm going to make mine kind of fun. So I'm going to put a line with a big oval and a line with a big oval. And then I'm thinking maybe I want to draw a fence on this side. So I'm going to draw two rainbow lines just like this, really close to each other. And then I'm going to put some lines down that fence to make it look like a fence. What do you think? Think it looks like a fence? And then I'm 
thinking maybe I have a sun on here. You can do your sun in different ways. Maybe you have a big sun with all the rays coming off of it. Or maybe you have a circle sun that has rays. Um, I think I'm going to do a half sun up here in this corner. I'm going to do it upside down rainbow or a U shape. And then I'm going to draw a few sun rays coming down from my sun. You do not have to make yours like this. You can do yours however you want. Okay, let's make our lines on our field. So we're gonna take a different line that we've learned and put into each field. So I'm just gonna pick a field and I'm gonna start doing my wavy line first. So I'm gonna do two or three wavy lines in my field. Maybe this is tomatoes or cabbage. And then I'm gonna do in this one some lines going down, just stripes. How about some zigzag lines? Thinking maybe our castle line in this one, remember up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. All right, I'm gonna make this one filled with spirals. That one kind of looks like lettuce or cabbage. Just do the best you can. You do not have to do the same lines that I'm making. You do what you wanna do. And then I think I'm gonna do stripes going this way. We haven't done that yet. And then maybe that X line, remember X, 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 X. Remember the M line? Let's do that. M, M. And then maybe a polka dotted line. And let's do a dashed line, dashed going down. we're going to come to my other side. I'm going to keep on going, doing what I'm doing. I'm going to add some different lines. Um, I haven't done um, a checkerboard yet, so I'm going to do it on this one. I'm going to do stripes going one way. Okay, that's stripes going that way. And then I'm going to go back and do stripes going the other way. And that makes it look like a checkerboard. Now, I didn't draw squares. I drew lines. Well, I'm gonna do some more wavy. I can start repeating some of these, doing them again. Just choose some of your favorite lines. on going. Fill every spot with all different lines. Once we're done with that, you can decorate your trees in some way. So I'm gonna do polka dots in this one. Might look like it's an apple tree. This one I'm gonna make it look kind of like spirals, like a leaf. You can do yours however you want. I think I'm gonna put some stripes in my sun just for fun. You decorate yours however you want. All right. 
today we're going to finish up our farms, our lines on our farm. Uh, last week we drew our farm using our India ink pen. Today we're going to spend some time painting this. Now, Miss Honey wants this super, super colorful. So you're going to take your time and you are going to paint each spot a different color. We're going to use our watercolors today. We know that we use our watercolors. We have to bring our water over, mix up our paint, and make a puddle. Okay, we make paint soup, and then that soup is what we use to paint our fields and our paper. So, but when we're finished and we switch colors, what do we need to do? We need to make sure we rinse our brush. So, we're gonna paint each spot a different color. Take your time on this. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So, I'm gonna start off with yellow first. I'm gonna make my paint soup. And I'm just going to pick a bunch of spots to paint yellow. You can pick whatever spots you want. This is your farm. You're going to paint it how you like. So I'm just going to pick some spots. Try to stay in the line that you made. And I'm going to go around and just keep picking some different spots. I'm not really choosing a certain spot. I'm just picking one for no reason. Now be careful be painting around a spot you already did because if it's still really wet the paint might bleed together. So try to stay away uh, until it's a little bit drier. I'm going to switch color so that means we rinse our brush, stir it like hot soup, rub the drippy off on the edge, then bring over a drippy to Continue painting. And you're just going to keep painting each spot a different color. If you have stripes, I want you to paint your stripes a different color. Maybe this one I'll paint this one red, then skip one and paint it something different, then paint it red, then skip one. Try to stay in your lines the best you can. It's okay if you mess up. All right, I'm gonna keep going, choosing different colors. Mix up my paint soup, paint, rinse my brush, stir like hot soup, rub our drippy off, and just keep on going. Until you have painted the whole thing rainbow colors, all different colors. When you're finished, everything should be painted. Now, if you want to leave a few spots white, like maybe your roof or your window, that's okay. But I'll make sure you do your sky. Everything needs to be painted. 